Hello, my name is Tara Kelly and I'm a sophomore at St. Mary's College. I recently attended a lecture by Dr. Kay Whitehead and she sparked some ideas that really resonated with me. She talked about the concept of sisterhood and how she sees it as more of a verb, meaning we have to be engaged in the process. I agree with this statement. I think that we have to believe in each other in order to succeed. Today I will be discussing sisterhood, how it takes place in friendships, and how it empowers women to achieve their goals. Joining me is one of my first friends here at St. Mary's, Lily Zusai. Thanks for coming, Lily. Sure. Um, <laughs> Lily and I became friends during our freshman orientation last year. I believe that friendships form bonds that are strong and long lasting. And with these bonds, we push each other to do our best all the time. Do you have a similar concept of friendship? I do. I really think so. I really agree that they, like, you push each other yeah. to be better. So, like, encourage mm -hmm. encouragement. Yeah, totally. And I think, like, sorry, I can say more. <laughs> I think that trust plays a big part in that, too, because, at least in my experience, people will get really defensive if you're not a friend, but you try to push them <laughs> to be better. They'll be like, Definitely. oh, I am good at that. Yeah, I totally, like, I get yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I think that sisterhood really shows through in strong friendships. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think is one of the most important aspects of sisterhood? I think, do you mean, like, how does it... Well, you said, like, trust. trust yeah, is a trust big, is a big, big part thing. Of sisterhood. Yeah, definitely trust is a big thing. And I think some, some sort of forming of a bond, like, whether it's through a shared experience or a shared love of something, is really important because otherwise oh, yeah. it won't last if you have, like, very a long. Common, a common yeah, interest Yeah, something in common. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, with that aspect in mind, can you share an example of how you have been affected by sisterhood throughout your life and, mm -hmm. like, the friendships that you have? Yeah. Let me think. Um... Yeah, so I used to be really shy in grade school and middle school. When I got to high school, I met my friend Jenna, mm -hmm. who actually turns out lived in my neighborhood for a couple of years, which was really Oh, fun. really? But yeah, yeah that's cool. nice. But I met her, and she's like the exact opposite of me. I'm like pretty quiet, and I don't talk unless I feel like I have to. <laughs> and she's like bubbly and loud and everything. And we just sort of became friends, even though we ran in different circles. We, I went to an all not an all-girls high school, but we had all-girls classes and all-guys classes. Oh, okay. So I spent a lot of time with her. Um, and, yeah, she just, I remember she pushed me to talk more. She was That's always good. like, I want to know what you're thinking. <laughs> Mostly because, like, she said what she was thinking, like, all the time. But, um, yeah, so she really drew me out of my shell over, like, four years, which was really That's good. something that I'd been wanting to do but couldn't yeah. necessarily do oh, myself. Good. So that was, like, really great. That's yeah. great. Um, do you have a role model or either someone well known by everyone or someone like that you know personally mm -hmm. uh, that really embodies the aspects that we've been talking about, about his sisterhood? Oh, yeah. So one of my neighbors actually, her name's Mary Claire. She's like 25 and she has, she has two kids. She's like the best mom ever. Um, <laughs> but one thing that I love about my relationship with her is that she's somehow able to like forget the fact that we're almost 10 years apart in age and just get on my level and really like, like I trust her completely. Oh, and, that's um, awesome. Yeah, yeah, so that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and how do you think, going back to like what I talked about, um, the lecture I attended with Dr. K. Whitehead, mm -hmm. um, how do you think that the bond of sisterhood allows us to accomplish our goals? Ooh, I think that there are some goals that you really need to be held accountable for, whereas like, I don't know, if I wanted to get up and run every morning I probably wouldn't actually unless I was really um, I think there's something to be said for being part of a group especially of sisters um, yeah. or of like women friends um, where they you can hold each other accountable and um, like you, that's a really good way to accomplish your goals is in, like to make sure you stick to it yeah so, I agree yeah um, and then finally where do you see sisterhood play out here at St. Mary's oh gosh well, I've just recently been experiencing a lot in my major. I've noticed a lot of... Um, What's your major again? I'm a bio major oh, okay. and an English lit major. Oh. So two different... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, things, yeah. But um, I've been seeing more recently, like as people have been getting more concentrated, like in our class, mm -hmm. um, in our grade, um, a lot of like, I mean, shared experiences again has yeah. been a good thing. Um, but they really um, work together a lot yeah. and like I don't know group projects are great <laughs> yeah, that is true well thank yeah. you so much for being here Lily um, it is clear that friendship and sisterhood have a strong connection 
especially here at St. Mary's College, an all-women's college where we constantly cheer each other on through our words and actions. Friendship is such an important aspect in our lives, and it is with friendship that we not only inspire one another, but also enjoy life every day. Thank <laughs> you.